Hey friends, it's Allison here dropping in to share with you a new scrapbook layout today. This layout is about our family and the month of April in particular. It's a very busy month for our family and the inspiration from this layout, the inspiration for this layout um, came a while ago. And I've been thinking about it since and decided this would be the perfect time to share this story. So in the month of April, there are a couple of birthdays. There's my wedding anniversary. Believe it or not, the twins were due this month as well, way back. Thankfully, they came early, so there wasn't one other birthday to add to the list. And Easter generally falls during this month as well. So for us, it's a very busy month and I thought that I would document that story. I had this idea to layer flowers underneath of a panel and I browsed my Cricut image library to find the perfect image. These particular flowers I absolutely love. I've used them here and there in my crafting since I really began using Cricut Design Space for my crafting and I will probably use it again in the future. I just love it. I did add a scallop border over top of it. I actually forgot originally <laughs> to add it just beneath the heart panel with the stitching on it. That's close to my heart pattern paper before I put the floral paper on it. So off camera, I kind of tore it apart and put the scallop border underneath there and then put the flowers back on and then adhered it to the layout base. Now I'm just working on my pictures. Once again, I printed pictures at two by two inches and they are matted to some scrap white cardstock. And I'm just working on the arrangement of the pictures right now. I wanted them in a row, but I didn't want them totally straight. So just worked that out. The center flower, the center photo is going to be adhered to the layout with some craft foam. And now I'm adhering the rest of the title. It is Cricut Cut. The word April is uh, Cricut File. It's not a specific font, though once again I wish it was because I just love it. And then I used another file, cut file, for the word hello. There are a few different ones in the Cricut Image Library. Um, and this one won the battle, so to speak. And now I'm just embellishing my layout. I cut some flowers with my Cricut and adhered them together. They are being adhered with foam squares just to create a little bit more height and dimension. I love height in my layouts and so I'm often reaching for either the craft foam or foam squares to add some height to my layout. So the flowers are going to create three focal points on my layout. Um, I tend to try and stick to the rule of three in my crafting and creating that visual triangle that is so important to create a balanced layout. The last flower is going to kind of bring your attention to where the journaling is going to be, which is what I'm working on right now using my little journaling hack. I'm going to trim those down into thin little strips and then I'll be using my Tombow Mono liquid glue to adhere them to the layout base. Below that, I'll just add the date and then I add a little bit of sparkle glitter to the layout with a close to my heart shimmer brush. I just used the clear one on the centers of the flowers and the word April. And I think the little berries that are in the floral border underneath the title and photo mat. And honestly, that brings me to the end of this layout. I absolutely love this layout. I love the colors. I just realized the other day, I don't use yellow very often, but I love it. It's one of my favorite colors. And I never think to put red and yellow together. And I think it is dynamite. I love the way that it looks together. So that is it, my friends. There are close-ups coming up, so be sure you stick around for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And I hope that I have inspired you in one way or another through my creative process. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you can customize the notification settings. I will be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Have a fantastic Tuesday and I'll see you again. Bye guys.